You may think, well, most ports and warehouses are already open around the clock. While that is true, data from MIT's supply chain team tells a different story. When I bring that up with companies, they say like, oh, we operate 24 seven. But then when I look at the data, you know, you're open, but you're like twice as slow for a driver that gets there at midnight as you are for a driver that gets there at noon. David Carell has been crunching the numbers on truck drivers' logs and what happens when they get to their delivery location. He found their most productive Tuesday through Thursday with early morning and early evening hour arrivals. Now, outside of those, load and unload hours take longer, and that leads to truckers working only an average of about six and a half hours per day, and they can legally drive for 11. So while we keep hearing about trucker shortages, listen to Corel crunch the numbers on that problem. Well, how many truck drivers are we short? And the most recent estimate was, I believe, 60,800. So then if you look at that and say, all right, if we're 60,800 short out of a population of like 3 million truck drivers, that's only 3.5% short. So then how could we find, instead of trying to get that many more new truck drivers, what if we just added 3.5% more working hours to their day? To, of the ones we already have, and that would be only 12 minutes. Like we would just have to go from 6.5 to 6.7 hours per day. Now, part of the MIT research is how information about working additional hours is relayed so they can make more money and improve efficiency. Carell also acknowledges improving warehouse overnight speeds is more complicated than just hiring more people with harder workloads. But research shows technology is available to automate many inbound logistics and warehouse positions that need more workers. In fact, to improve delivery efficiency, some consumer packaged goods companies are part of a task force studying the impact of contactless pickup and delivery protocols. Now, there's also a possible bonus benefit of reducing employees' risk of injuries.